Hi everyone. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've read any stories. I'm going to read another one today that is a favorite from my childhood and it's called Millions of Cats. Once upon a time there was a very old man and a very old woman. They lived in a house which had flowers all around it except where the door was. But they couldn't be happy because they were so very lonely. If we only had a cat, sighed the very old woman. A cat, asked the very old man. Yes, a sweet little fluffy cat, said the very old woman. I will get you a cat, my dear, said the very old man. And he set out over the hills to look for one. He climbed over the sunny hills. He trudged through the cool valleys. He walked a long, long time. And at last he came to a hill which was covered with cats. Cats here, cats there, cats and kittens everywhere. Hundreds of cats, thousands of cats, millions and billions and trillions of cats. Can you imagine? I know we have some teachers and some kids who love cats so much that would love to find millions and billions and trillions of cats. Oh, cried the old man joyfully. Now I can choose the prettiest cat and take it home with me. So he chose one. It was white, but just as he was about to leave, he saw another one, all black and white, and it seemed just as pretty as the first, so he took this one also. But then he saw a fuzzy gray kitten way over here, which was every bit as pretty as the other, so he took it too. And now he saw one way down in the corner, which he thought too lovely to leave, so he took this too. I think it would be hard to choose from so many cats. Just then, over here, the very old man found a kitten which was black and very beautiful. It would be a shame to leave that one, said the very old man, so he took it. And now over there, he saw a cat which had brown and yellow stripes like a baby tiger. I simply must take it, he cried. And he did. So it happened that every time the very old man looked up, he saw another cat which was so pretty he could not bear to leave it. Before he knew it, he had chosen them all. So he went back over the sunny hills and down through the cool valleys to show all his pretty kittens to the very old woman. It was very funny to see those hundreds and thousands and millions and billions and trillions of cats following him. He's got cats on the shoulders and his head following him. They came to a pond. Mew, mew, we are thirsty, cried the hundreds of cats, thousands of cats, millions and billions and trillions of cats. Well, here's a great deal of water, said the very old man. Each cat took a sip of water and the pond was gone. Now we are hungry, said the hundreds of cats, thousands of cats, millions and billions and trillions of cats. There is much grass on the hills, said the very old man. Each cat ate a mouthful of grass and not a blade was left. They ate all the grass. That's how many cats there were. Do you think that the very old man and the very old woman are gonna be able to feed these cats when he gets home? Pretty soon, the very old woman saw them coming. My dear, she cried, what are you doing? I asked for one little cat, and what do I see? Cats here, cats there, cats and kittens everywhere. H hundreds of cats, thousands of cats, millions and billions and trillions of cats. I bet you could read that with me the next page. But we can never feed them all, said the very old woman. They will eat us out of house and home. I never thought of that, said the very old man. What shall we do? The very old woman thought for a while, and then she said, I know, we will let the cats decide which one we should keep. 
Oh yes, says the very old man, and he called to the cats. Which of you is the prettiest? Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. What do you think? I am, I am, no, I am. No, I am the prettiest, I am. No, I am, I am, I am. Help me read it, cried hundreds and thousands and millions and billions and trillions of voices. For each cat thought itself the prettiest and they began to quarrel. That means they began to fight. That's a fancy word for fight. They bit and scratched and clawed each other and made such a great noise that the very old woman, the very old man and the very old woman ran into the house as fast as they could. They did not like such quarreling, but after a while, the noise stopped and the very old man and the very old woman peeped out the window to see what had happened. They could not see a single cat. I think they must have eaten each other up, said the very old woman. It's too bad. Do you think they ate each other up? But look, said the very old man, and he pointed to a bunch of high grass. In it sat one little frightened kitten. They went out and picked it up. It was thin and scraggly. Poor little kitty, said the very old woman. Dear little kitty, said the very old man. How did this happen? That you were not eaten up with all those hundreds and thousands and millions and billions of trillions of cats. Oh, I'm just a very homely little cat, said the kitten. So when you asked who was the prettiest, I didn't say anything. So nobody bothered about me. They took the kitten into the house where the very old woman gave it a warm bath and brushed its fur until it was soft and shiny. Every day they gave it plenty of milk and soon it grew nice and plump. That means the cat gained weight from the food and the milk. And it was a very pretty cat after all, said the very old woman. It is the most beautiful cat in the whole world, said the very old man. I ought to know for I've seen hundreds of cats thousands of cats, millions and billions and trillions of cats, and not one was as pretty as this one. Looks like they were happy in the end with their one little cat. I hope you enjoyed that story.